I did. For the last three years, I've been developing the Sect Monica. And more recently, I've just now developed the Sect Minica, which is a little baby Sect Monica. But the cool thing about this is it does everything that the big Sect Monica does. Now, what I'd like to try and do now is just explain a little bit about the pro musical progression as I see it. We have, the way I look at it, we have some fundamental steps missing. Because at the moment, there really is the recorder, which many of us have tried to play at an early age, and I'm genuinely not convinced this is a particularly good instrument, as we've all tried to play it. None of us have really succeeded, and I've yet to hear a recorder played very well, considering the amount of people that have played recorders. <clears throat> so, the fundamental problem here is after a recorder, you really have to move to a full-blown saxophone or a flute. Now, the mental transition to go from a recorder to a saxophone is quite staggering. Um, it presents many, many challenges. The size of your hands, just the visual challenge itself, is quite dramatic. Um, so, as I've developed the sax moniker and taught myself how to play music, I've thought a lot about this and I've tried, tried to put in two extra steps. So, if you understand this progression, we start with a recorder. Now we can go to a sax minica. When you're confident with the sax minica, you can then go to a sax monica. Same instrument, same mouthpiece. This is the same mouthpiece, that's the same mouthpiece. The primary function is our lungs and our mouthpiece. Now if all goes right, you should be able to make a similar sound. <clears throat> now the difference between a sax monica and a saxophone is that we have a button on the back here that we operate with our thumb. What that does is it lifts this here, so as we press that, that lever lifts. What that does is give us two octaves. So we have a low octave, we press the button, same notes, same finger positions, but we alter it with our thumb. So it effectively gives us the same six notes, but at a higher level. So we're playing with 12 notes. They're the same notes, but in a higher range. So that allows a much greater range. But really, the fundamentals are breathing, mouth position, and following that beat. using two octaves. A saxophone has about two and a half octaves. You can get some very high notes, but quite difficult to play because it's in our mouth position and likewise with the very low notes. Um, all the mid-range notes are really no different from a sax monica. And so... <laughs> Now, 
Now, there's really no fundamental difference, and I'll explain the next stage as to why there's not a lot of difference. On the Sachs Minica, what I've effectively done is given you one line of music. If we were to call these holes a line of music, it's just a line of music. <laughs> So we have one line of music. You don't need to get confused, it will work over many beats, uh, it will play many songs, but it's just one line of music. As we step up to the sax monica, we have three lines of music. So effectively one line, two lines, three lines. So you've got more variety, you can play over more keys. It's the same concept, just more variety. Now when we step up to a saxophone, it's the same thing, but because this has all the notes and all the octaves, it allows us to play, for argument's sake, 25 lines of music. The difference is you've got to find those lines of music in here. And that's where this machine gets a little bit confusing for a learner. But if, if you understand you're playing one line of music on this, you've got three lines of music on this, and you have 25 lines of music on this, um, you, you probably have many more lines of music because it will play every scale, every key, every note, um, and there's many different scales. Uh, all the so traditional Western scales, you then can get to the Middle East and have a whole lot of different scales. This will play them all, but the confusing bit is to figure them out, and that's hard work. So, if we break it down into one line of music, three lines of music, 25 lines of music, we take the one line of music, we learn that. We move to this, we put in the extra two lines of music, we start to learn that. So then the jump from here to here to here is actually very simple. We use exactly the same mouthpiece, so that's an alto sax mouthpiece. It's all about our breathing and our embouchure, which is your mouth muscles. As they develop, the tones you will be able to make will be crisper and clearer. A lot of the hiss will disappear and you'll train your lungs and your mouth to work in unison. That really is how this is progressing. Now, if you develop your skills on a saxophone, on a sax monica, sax monica, saxophone, I'm talking about the fundamentals being breathing and embouchure and to be able to follow the beat, which is very critical. Um, after that, you can look at the technical aspects of music, but I feel that they should follow down the line, we want to start with the basics. Um, I in skateboarding, we learned to balance, we learned to slide a long time before we put our tricks in. So if we've got the fundamentals, then we can start to put the tricks in. And once you have several lines of music, or several, yeah, several musical scales that you know, you can rip on this thing all, night, all day long. And as long as you can follow the beat, then you're pretty good to go. Um, Everyone wants to rip a big sax solo, and here's the easiest method. Sax monica, sax monica, saxophone. Now I want to just point out that a flute, once again, a very complicated instrument. A lot of girls will go from a recorder to a flute. They will struggle with their hand positions because flutes are, once again, complicated. They're long, your fingers aren't big enough, so young kids are going to struggle with flutes and saxophones. Um, but effectively a flute is one, two, three fingers here, one, two, three fingers there, and we play it sideways. So this is, once again, fundamental skills are breathing. Now, if you imagine that to be a saxophone, it's played like that. A flute, we move it up and play like that, but our hand positions largely stay the same. So, this is where the sax minica and the sax monica provide a perfect stepping stones. These aren't expensive instruments, but they've got a huge amount of potential. They can take you to many places. Um, you can carry these with you anywhere, anytime. Uh, you can play in the car, you can play on the beach, you can play while you're waiting for your mates at school. It's a bit more difficult to take a $2,000 saxophone to the beach. In fact, you wouldn't do one. If you did, <laughs> you'd be crazy. Um, because you'd find you need a $500 service after it. But really the fundamentals all stack up. Sax monica, one line of music. Sax monica, three lines of music. 
saxophone 25 lines of music. And once you have a few lines of music, you can rip on this. It's exactly the same as a sax mini car. Exactly the same finger movements on sax minica, on sax monica, on saxophone. I think you'll find it's very similar on a flute, but you're playing the flute up there. Um, so there's many, many lines of music you can fit into here. At the moment, we've given you one for the sax minica, three for the sax monica, 25 for this. But once you understand which line it is, then you can start to play. Uh, and then we can worry about the actual musical component afterwards, whether you're playing 16th notes, 8th notes. This is very confusing. It's like learning a new language. Uh, we all struggle <laughs> with languages. Music isn't a lot different. Um, so, there we go. But I have been teaching myself to play one of these because I can play one of those, and this is where it's all dawned on me that there's a lot of similarities, and this is a beautiful progression. Recorder. Sax monica, sax monica, saxophone. Embouchure is very important. As you develop your mouth muscles, you get stronger muscles around the mouthpiece. Uh, your lungs develop. You've got a big pump, you've got a valve, and you've got some fingers that alter the sound of the valve. And that's really all it is. here, here, here. 